So welcome to Noble Games. Today we have Scott, and he's the professor of MIT. From what I heard, MIT is a pretty good university. <laughs> yeah. So um, wait, actually, let me check that for a quick one. So MIT ranking. It's number one. In some rankings. It's systems, number one. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait. MIT is the number one university based on topuniversities.com. So yeah, it's a safe bet that it's a good university. <laughs> well, anyway. I enjoy working there. That's oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So um, you're the professor there, and um, what? Well, I actually, I'm, technically, I'm a, a, a researcher. Research. research scientist. So yeah, what, what do you basically do, your daily job? Your so my work is, uh, broadly speaking, it's about researching the role of uh, games and other, edu and other technology in education. That said, what's critical is that the research we do is design research. So we actually research, we actually make things to study how they work and how they're used. Um, so my training is really as a designer. Mm -hmm. I'm a game designer. Um, at MIT, I still make games, but I make them, and some of them, are, by the way, some of the games I make actually get published and get used widely, but I'm also doing that to study how people use games and how people learn from games. So at the same time that I'm making a game for people to actually enjoy using, I'm also studying how effective right. they are. When you say make a game, it's just um, computer games, digital games? Uh, in what? my case, mostly digital games. Mostly yes. Some digital of my colleagues games. also work on analog games. My work is, has been focused on digital games. Oh yeah, so in, in MIT, you're the creative director of this um, educational arcade? Yes, arcade the Education right? Arcade is a research group. So we have, um, we're part of the Comparative Media Studies program, which is a program that looks broadly at how people use media. Um, our research groups uh, focus on different areas, and so the Education Arcade looks at uh, games, games and educational technology. I'm also the creative director of the Game Lab, which studies games more broadly. Game Lab, so. <laughs> sounds cool. Anyway, so um, would you uh, share with us some of, some of the interesting projects that you're working on? Sure. Um, uh, we're always working on interesting stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of what ones that I can describe. Uh, just the short one. Yeah, yeah. The, short, <laughs> in the short version. Working on interesting product uh, to help um, promote literacy in young children. Um, games, products, games that children and parents can play together that will help uh, promote literacy. Um, that's one project. Another project uh, for middle school is around science, but it's it's a game, but it's not a typical digital game. It's actually sort of a an extended um, kind of role play game that involves both online and offline activities. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, um, so y you do a lot of things with games and education. So, um, but uh, just for the audience at home, um, I want to I want you to share something that they can use. Is is there some way that we can access some of this work that you do so that we can um, learn? Sure. From? Um, uh, for the, some of the games, so some of the games that I've done are, are were available are now. I can name two that are available. One is a game about mathematics and data. It's called Zumbinis. Zumbinis. And it's available on um, both uh, the I, the Apple I, Apple, Apple, Apple Store, Store Apple and Store, the, yeah. and Google Play, and um, also on uh, through uh, Steam. So it's playable right. as, a, as a PC game. Um, Another one is Labyrinth, uh, Lure of the Labyrinth, actually, but it's at um, labyrinth.thinkport.org, um, yeah. and that's a middle school math game that anyone can play, but only for about a year until, as long as Flash is still working. It's a Flash based game. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so um, these people can just access anywhere, yes. right? Just with the internet. So we're just going to put the link in the description okay. and stuff. Yeah, so we can access more of the, yes. your work. Yes.